April the 16th is annual National Advanced Care Planning Day. And it was began a few years ago by the Canadian Hospice and Palliative Care Association and with the understanding that it's very difficult for people to have these conversations with their loved ones, but it's more difficult to move through our dying and end of life decisions if we haven't had those conversations beforehand. Part of our job is to speak with patients and families about what their wishes and decisions are before they get into a crisis situation. It's a very difficult conversation to have and we appreciate that, but we help assist uh, those folks uh, with those conversations uh, to help guide them through this. And it's a, it's a perfect start to, to building on a, on a relationship with those patients and families that are here at CKHA. The Chatham Kent Health Alliance is moving into a pilot project with uh, Erie St. Clair Lynn uh, in looking at advanced care planning and the role it plays all across the organization. Well, we're just delighted that Chatham Kent Health Alliance is taking the initiative to launch this event. And this event is important not only for the Chatham-Kent Health Alliance, but for the Chatham-Kent community, for our Erie St. Clair region, for Ontario, and even at a national level. At a national level now, advanced care planning and consent to treatment has become a priority area. And so this work at Chatham-Kent Health Alliance links us to that national work. We felt it was important to develop some resources to send home with families to say, you know, have this conversation so that the next time you come, um, you're, you're more comfortable. Uh, it's been proven that there's less family anxiety if they know what the person's wishes were, even though it's a difficult situation. And so it's important for us to be able to um, help people to feel comfortable to have the conversation. So we're very delighted, very happy with the leadership that Chatham Kent Health Alliance has taken, and we would like to thank Nancy Snobelin and all of her team. So thank you.